Well, Bill, since May 30th, 1868, this day has been, uh, May 30th has been designated as Memorial Day to honor our departed comrades, wherever they may be, uh, wherever their remains may be, in foreign cemeteries and uh, waters, foreign waters of many places. And it is a day that every American should honor and respect the man that uh, helped him and defended him. And what, brought, what brought us the, the voter turnout by mid-afternoon in Silverbow County has been very, very light. Only between 20 and 25 percent of the registered voters in most precincts have turned out. The polls close at 8 o'clock, and it's expected that after 5 o'clock, when more people get out of work, more people will then be voting. The turnout has been weak, much weaker than expected. The county has a hard core of Democrats who are loyal to their party. This trend may change, though, by the time the polls close this evening. Bill Mahler, MTN News, reporting on the turnout in Silverbow County. Oh, we just have to break we've been training for for weeks and weeks. Don't worry, Mike. I'm ready. I'm all set. I think uh, I was issued a bogus cow. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of technique were you going to use on the, uh, on the cow? Well, you didn't get a chance to use it. I was trying the reverse lateral uh, symbiosis trial, but uh, obviously it didn't seem to uh, draw as much as I had anticipated. Better luck next year, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'll be training pretty hard for that one, though. I'm, I'm all ready for it. <laughs> This is where most of the this is where most of the work begins, at least for the bees. A bee yard like this may have more than one million honeybees, with each hive producing about 150 pounds of honey a year. Montana is one of the nation's largest honey-producing states, and the Smoot family runs one of the biggest businesses in Montana. Okay. Did you hear that? Look at the needle. I could just hear him. Sounds like a. This is Mark where. I like.
like other news broadcasts, the MGN News rewrites every show to bring you a fresh look at the news every day. Watch us weeknights, 5.30 and 10, here on KRTV Channel 3. Unlike other news programs, the MTN News rewrites every broadcast to bring you a fresh look at the news every day. Watch us weeknights at 5.30 and 10 here on KRTV Channel 3. The MTN News team has 17 full-time reporters and cameramen bringing you... South South. The MTN News Team has 17 reporters and cameramen putting in a full day every day to bring you the important news of Montana. Watch us weeknights, 5.30 and 10, here on Channel 3. Are you ready? Go for it. MTN News knows that what happens in Great Falls is affected by what's going on all around Montana. That's why we have news bureaus in the four major news centers of Montana. For the important news you need to know, watch the MTN News weeknights, 5, 30, and 10, here on KRTV Channel 3. Just stumbling into the light. Great Falls is not an... Great Falls is not an isolated community. It's important that you know what's going on all around Montana. And the MTN News gives you the best statewide television news coverage in the state. That sounds stupid. I'm going to... Great Falls is not an isolated community. It's important that you know what's going on all around Montana. And the MTN News gives you the best statewide television news coverage in Montana. Watch us weeknights at 5.30 and 10, here on Channel 3. Mm. 1978 was a bumper crop year for Montana farmers. Yet, though the harvest is long over, 60 to 70 percent of last year's grain is still in the state. Not because farmers can't sell it, because they can't move it. I can't haul any grain in, period. It's just a tough situation. We've got about 100 million bushels of grain in the state that we have to move. And there's no way we're going to get it moved this way. And I don't know what, with the upcoming crop, we've got good moisture conditions, good crop conditions. I don't know where we're going with the next, next crop. planning and the lack of foresight that uh, Congress, the railroads, and all of us have had. We've got to correct it and we've got to do it very shortly. It's clear Montana farmers cannot look forward to much relief in the next few years. Some politicians are considering the shortage of grain cars just one part of an overall national transportation crisis, yet it's one that will take years to correct. Bill Monter, MTN News, Great Falls.